Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, dear viewers. Welcome back to Technology of Baitul once again. Today we are going to discuss the arrays in programming. As it is very clear that uh, arrays are consecutive memory locations with the same name and same type. So let's see, we can say that the array is a combination of variables or the combination of multiple values with the same data type. If we divide this definition into three parts then mainly first thing is the consecutive memory locations. Arrays are the consecutive memory locations. It means if the first value suppose in the front of you that have the index 0 if 2 placed on the index number 0 it means the next value that is 8 that is immediately after this index that is index number 1 or we are talking about the indexes all the values are consecutively placed in the memory of computer then 5 is placed immediately after the 8 after that 9 is placed immediately after the 5 and immediately after the 9 3 will be placed so these are the consecutive memory locations secondly with the same name it means we can access all the values of this array with the same name that is a in this example and the third thing is all the elements or all the values of array should be with the same data type suppose in this type of array it includes the integer type values so all the values should be the integer now for this array a and then these are the memory locations we can say that these are the indexes just like 0 1 2 3 and 4 if the length of array will be 5 then the indexes will be 0 to 4 the values are 2 8 5 9 and 3 these are the values exist in this array a so now if we have the concept of array clearly then let's see how we can declare the array or initialize the array suppose we have this array having the element 2 8 5 9 and 3 and we have to declare it and initialize it with this statement int a okay parenthesis equals after that in curly braces all the elements should be there so here int represents the data type the data type of those values that present in this array after that a represents the name of this array okay and after that after the equal and within the curly braces these are the elements or values which are placed in this array a now let's see how we access these elements from this array if we access these elements one by one suppose with the help of index numbers after the name a we have to use index number and it's just like if we consider the a of 0 it means we are talking about the value present on which index index number 0 so the array a having the index number 0 which value that is 2 and if we consider a of 1 it's mean array of 1 index having the value 8 and if we talk about a of 2 that means we are talking about the value 5 if we access a of 3 that means we are talking about the value 9 if we talk about the a of 4 it's mean we are talking about arrays value present on fourth index that is 3 now let's consider the different examples of the code with the help of arrays so first example is whenever we want to display the array what will be the criteria right now so let's see in this example there is a code in front of you simply it considers the for loop and the value of i will be started from 0 to 4 it means we are talking about the indexes of a and we consider the indexes of array with the help of values of i that initializes from 0 and after that it should be less than 5 that means the indexes should be 0 to 4 and within the body of the for loop we have to display c out a of i that means initially if i equals 0 then if we display the a of 0 that means we are talking about the value 2 so what will be the displayed here 
that is 2 after that the increment occurs again then the value of i should be 1 okay and if the value of i should be 1 now then if we talk about the display array of 1 it means we are considered which value that is 8 and now 8 will be displayed here next again increment of i occurs now the value of i will be 2 if the value of i will be 2 now if we talk about the a of 2 that means we are talking about the index 2's value that is 5 so it displays the 5 right now after that again increment of i occurs that means increment of 1 in i so the value of i should be 3 now it means now we are considered the a of 3 and what value will be appear on a of 3 that is 9 now okay so it displays the 9 now after that again the increment in i now the value of i will be 4 so it means now display a of 4 it means we are talking about the value of 3 which represent on the index number 4 in this array so the overall output of this program is 2 8 5 9 and 3 it means all the values of array which were required basically if we want to display the array in reverse order in reverse order means if we have 1 2 3 and 4 in this array and after reversing the order then we have 4 3 2 and 1 okay so let's suppose we have to consider the same array and uh, we have to apply this operation the reverse order so this is the code for this solution and what's the changings now we initialize the value of 5 with 4 now okay and the condition is i is greater or equals to 0 and after that we cannot use the increment right now right now we can use the decrement operator i minus minus or we can say that the i equals i minus 1 and firstly the value of i should be 4 so worst value will be printed now it displays the 3 firstly after the decrement of 1 the value should be 3 now so where's the value present in this 3 on index number 3 we have 9 okay it displays the 9 now and after that again decrement of 1 it's mean i's value will be 2 now what will be printed now the value is 5 now it displays the 5 after that once again decrement in i and the value of i will be 1 now so what will be the value exist in the 1 index that is 8 now the 8 will be displayed again the decrement on i now the value of i will be 0 now what's the value of array represent on the index number 0 that is 2 so once again 2 is also displayed and after that decrement of 1 it's mean the value of i should be minus 1 now so this condition will be false now minus 1 is greater or equals to 0 so finally we display the array with reverse order now let's take another example example number 3 we are taking the value from user in this example we want the user itself input the different numbers for this array okay so let's see with this code simply again we have a one for loop and we have initialized the value of i with 0 and the condition is i less than 5 and increment in i after that we can display enter some value it's mean enter the number will be displayed on the front of one user and after that user have to input some value okay for this array so if we enter first value that is 2 okay now the 2 will be inserted so 2 will be inserted on which location in zeros index we want to see in a of i firstly value of i should be 0 so the 2 will be inserted on which place zeros index and after that increment in i that is 1 it means user have to insert another number so we have to place it in 1 index 
so similarly then i's value will be 2 i's value will be 3 and after that increment will be 4 so 0 to 4 index we have to input multiple values from user and after that with the same for loop we can display the same array let's take another example the fourth example with the code suppose now we will talk about if the array have multiple numbers what will be the maximum number among all the values in array so this is the solution for this we take the max variable and initialize it with the zero okay and after that we have to declare some array just like this next we have to manage the for loop initialization of i with zero and the condition is i less than five and uh, increment or decrement we want the increment in i with one and within the for loop we have to manage one if condition just like this if max less than a of i so if the value exists in max variable will be less than value exists on arrays some location then we have to assign that value to the max variable okay just like this code so firstly uh, value of max is 0 after that first iteration 0 is less than 2 condition is true so the 2 will be placed on max variable next 8 2 is less than 8 again condition will be true and after that 8 will be assigned to the max variable and next time condition will be the 8 less than 5 condition will be false no value will be changed in the max variable 8 is less than 9 condition is once again true so 9 will be assigned to the max variable that's mean now the value of max is 9 okay and uh, for the next iteration when a of i means i's value will be 4 then we have to consider value 3 okay so 9 is less than 3 condition is false no change will be occur with the value of max so right now the value of max is 9 and uh, after this loop we have to display the maximum number is that is max variable it means what will be the displayed here on the placement of max variable the value of max that is actually 9 so the maximum value among all these numbers among 2 8 5 9 and 3 that is 9 so 9 will be displayed here so it can be very easy for us to use arrays while we are working or managing the multiple elements with the same type even now we can apply the sorting techniques just like uh, selection sort merge sort bubble sort or many other sorts as well we can also use many searching techniques with the arrays just like uh, linear search, binary search, etc. Now it is very easy for us to use the arrays in our code however we want to use it. Okay? So thank you so much for watching and never forget to subscribe to Technology Hub by Talha. Thank you so much.